Brandy told me that Jermaine and Alejandra had gotten married in a secret ceremony at the Hotel Bel Air with Della Reese administering the vows. Now, Della Reese, why the fuck did you get involved in this bullshit? bugs hello there bellas if you have not already done so please remember to like share the facebook subscribe and visit uptopbeauty.com for these mix shades in red and this michelle red lip hey listen i'm talking to you you all purchases at uptopbeauty.com that total over 40 dollars will come with a free gift mm -hmm. i said so and i give good free gifts mm -hmm. and if you are not already a part of this book club please hit the patreon link below and or the join button here on the youtube and for a small monthly fee of five dollars you babies yes you can be privy to all the shenanigans before the youtube gets it if the youtube gets it now Let's continue talking about baby. We are almost so done. So now let's finish off this book right here. Jackson Family Values uh, by Margaret Maldonado. Not a Jackson. At 7 a.m. I was awakened by his brother Randy pounding on the front door of my apartment. I didn't answer or let him in. This, you better don't. Okay, you better don't. It's Randy, goddammit. Despite the amicable relationship I had with Randy, the only male Jackson I trust completely is Michael. After Randy left, I phoned Hazel, afraid that perhaps someone in the family was sick or had died. It wasn't intuition. It was just common sense. I mean, because it's Randy. Randy didn't make social calls, and he was obviously upset. I mean, it's rain. Ironically, Hazel was on his mind as well, for he had just arrived at her house and she put him on the phone. He said he had to speak with me, that he had something important to tell me. I already knew what it had to be. It was the only scenario that had yet to be played. What are you going to tell me, that Jermaine and Alejandra are sleeping together? I guessed. I was right on the money, almost. Randy had more news to add. Jermaine and Alejandra had gotten married the day before. Randy told me that Jermaine and Alejandra had gotten married in a secret ceremony at the Hotel Bel Air with Della Reese administering the vows. Now, Della Reese, why the fuck did you get involved in this bullshit? You are far beyond this, girl. Leah Shit. learned about the merge when she found the certificate in Jermaine's briefcase and tried to beat Jermaine with her belt. Randy said, yeah. Ain't Leah DeBargo the bottom bitch? You're not supposed to marry Randy's uh, baby mother. You're supposed to marry your bottom bitch if you're going to get married, okay? But maybe she didn't visibly match what Jermaine needed. But but the bottom bitch around here putting all her work in, moving cross country, giving all that she got, and you're going to marry Alejandra? Girl, woo! The deception of it all. Randy told me that Jermaine and Alejandra had gotten married in a secret ceremony at the Hotel Bel Air with Della Reese administering the vows. Leah learned about the marriage when she found a certificate in Jermaine's briefcase and tried to beat Jermaine with her belt, Randy said. I was trying to figure out how I was going to explain to my children that their aunt, Alejandra was now their stepmother and their cousin, Randy Jr. and Genevieve were now their stepbrother and sister. And their uncle, Randy's girlfriend, was now sleeping with their father, child. When last heard from, Alejandra was living with her two children and Catherine and Joseph in the $40,000 a month home Michael was renting in Beverly Park. Michael was paying for all these shenanigans? Girl, oh my God. I wouldn't want my children to be around them. 
No, because I don't want you to act like them niggas. Leah Bongo was on a trip with Jermaine to Africa where he was busy attempting to sell yet another version of the Jackson Family Honor Special. Maybe this time he'd get it right. Another new face at the Jackson house is an 18-month-old baby named Dante, whom Joseph brought into the family one day from Las Vegas. While no one in the family is claiming paternity, he calls Jermaine Daddy and Alejandra Mommy. Despite the fact that Alejandra has not recently been pregnant, Joseph remains silent on the issue. That's Joseph, baby. Who baby y'all think that is? That's Joseph, baby. After Dee Dee's death, Tito re-entered his son's lives and became a responsible father once again. Taj Terrell and TJ moved back in with their dad, who is actively involved in the production of an album from their group, The Three T's. Tito was the lucky one. Thanks to the excellent job Dee Dee did in raising her three boys, they are each full of love and talent. Jackie remains the playboy of the group, while former wife Enid continues to have financial difficulties despite a lucrative alimony settlement she was awarded years ago. When Jackie heard about Jermaine's marriage to Alejandra, he commented, now we'll never be a group again. Facts. His observation provided a sad commentary on his inability to give up a dream that had long since died. Where they're performing now, they just are not performing as a group. I'm sure, but I could be wrong, when Jermaine is there, Randy isn't there. And vice versa, okay? But let me tell you something about Jackie. I'm always in them comments. Why the hell y'all just told me that Jackie got a two-year-old daughter? Marlon is still successfully married to Carl. He has a thriving career in real estate in the San Diego area. LaToya filed for bankruptcy protection and continues to live with Jack Gordon. Now we know this book was made in or written in the 90s. Janet continues to ride the wave of her recording success and joined brother Michael in 1995 for their hit duet scream on his story album i am among those who feel she ranks as the queen of pop in the music world reby still lives with her husband nathaniel and is a devoted jehovah witness randy has moved out of the family house and continues to be tormented about the marriage of the mother of his two children to his older brother i believe that and that's the messed up part because you know randy ain't stable jermaine I mean, but then neither is Jermaine. He has several independent business ventures, enjoying playing classical music, and has resumed an active role in the lives of Genevieve and Randy Jr. Jermaine continues to live at the Beverly Park Estate, drives his father's Rolls Royce. Everybody does, child. You know, on the uh, show uh, LaToya Lives or La The Life of LaToya, even LaToya driving that damn Rolls Royce. Everybody drives that. When you stunt, you drive the Rolls Royce. Jermaine continues to live at the Beverly Park Estate, drives his father's Rolls Royce. I mean, you was driving Jermaine's or the Jackson's Mercedes and Range Rover. So, I mean, okay, come on. Jermaine continues to live at the Beverly Park Estate, drives his father's Rolls Royce, has a cook, maid, gardener, pool man, and security guard. Now, that's coming off is jealous. Rather than accept available work, he prefers to live off of money from his mother and brother Michael, all the while claiming he can't afford to pay a penny of child support. Yeah, yeah, because ninjas will quit their job before they pay you baby mamas a penny. It be about the principalities to them, girl. Not not the integrity or or the 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 paternity. It be about the principality. The only Jackson who inquires about Jeremy and Jordan's welfare is Michael, the busiest Jackson of them all. He has a new album, a new wife, and his own ready-made family, but has expressed a desire to help my sons. As for me, every day is a new challenge filled with the responsibilities of being a single parent and forging a career for myself. Child, that ain't nothing new. That ain't nothing new. Black mammies do it every day.